All right, I'm going to go ahead and read the follow-up investigation witness report. There's this lady who had an encounter in, uh, in Washington. It was uh, Stevens County, Washington, near Hunters, Washington, on Lessig Road. We'll look at that in a moment. What she saw was an upright figure, about eight feet tall, standing next to the shed, about a hundred yards away. She watched it for about 20 seconds to see if it would come towards her. When she yelled, it turned and dropped to all fours. It was in dark shadows, so it was dark on its front, but when it turned, it was red-brown on its back. She could see about six-inch long hair hanging from its triceps and from the elbow down. She did not see a neck or a nose. She does not remember the head shape. Well, yeah, because it was on all fours and it was in an odd direction. Um, the shoulders were wider than the hips. Interesting. When it turned, um, she saw what appeared to be hands, but did not see arms swing. When it dropped to all fours, the back was straight or parallel to the ground. It uh, may not have been a bear. The wood knocks made her very scared. Um, they were all 60 to 90 seconds apart. She was so scared she left the next day. There was no odor. Uh, she did not look for tracks. The nearest neighbor is one quarter mile away. Uh, she um, never heard any hammering or such noises uh, from the farthest neighbor as this one suggested. So, you know, whatever the knocking were, she figured, okay, it wasn't something a, a human would have made or, or a person or a neighbor. So. Shortly after they moved um, the trailer into the acreage, she found an oily handprint with fingers on the front trailer window. Others were found on the shed windows. When she and her husband returned two weeks after the wood knocks, no pictures were taken, and she wiped them off, wondering who was looking in their windows. The handprints were larger than either her or her husband's. They sold the property three years ago and are not aware of any ongoing activity. Okay, so wood knocking, you got thunk, 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 and uh, freaking people out, and you got big, giant handprints left all over the place. Well, that's interesting. Um, there might be a curious Sasquatch. I don't know. Let's look at the area. Um, the area, let's see. Doesn't give her exact address, otherwise I would have focused in on that. But it does say um, Lessig Road, which is right here. This is where it begins in uh, the town of what Hunters over here. What's the name of that town? There, there, yeah, Hunters. There's a lot of nothing out here, folks. <laughs> Okay, so Lessig, so it was uh, off of this road, apparently, is where uh, this lady's house is, and uh, could be any one of these places, but there's a lot of land down here. I mean, they just, there's just a lot of land down here, and you gotta wonder, you know what I mean? Because this, this area is, is like the perfect area. Sa Sasquatch loves this kind of uh, remoteness. But zooming back so you get kind of an idea. There, there's nothing here. There, there aren't even any really small towns. There's just little communities scattered here and there. And then nothing for like hundreds of miles. So... You know, that, that'll that bring a little bit of validation to the story. I, I think it's believable. You figure, can you get on this road? Come on, Yahoo Maps. Nah, you can't do it. Um, it gives a little bit of validity because of the location. It's just so remote. It's like, what the heck? I mean, anything could be happening out here. You know what I mean? So, you have a lady who was spooked by uh, wood knocking and found handprints and then sold the property and moved away. And I don't blame her. I would have done the same thing. Um, it's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. Um, I didn't read her story because I just felt she rambled a little bit. You know, get right to the point sometimes and read the follow-up. But 
It's what I wanted to do. It's my video, <laughs> right? <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I, I think I believe her. I think it happened. There's nothing here. I wonder if there's a Sasquatch on one of these. Uh, you know, probably. Just nobody's seen it yet on one of these on uh, uh, Google Map photos. Who knows what Google Maps is taking photos of that nobody's even noticed. Probably all kinds of, all manner of weirdness going on that that's been documented that nobody's seen. Interesting. Anyway, I'm just rambling on trying to let you go. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, I think this is it's pretty fascinating. And um, yeah, thanks for uh, joining me on this little journey today. I'm out.